Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to show you how to find work on Google Classroom and how to see your student timetable. What you see here is the student portal. If you're using a Chromebook this is the first page you see when you open it up. There are multiple quick links on here including one for Google Classroom which you can just click on to take you straight through. If you're on a PC or a tablet or a phone or anything else the easiest way is to go to the school website which is alns.co.uk and on the main page of the website we have a button there for Google Classroom. Click on that and whichever way you do it it'll take you to the, the Google sign in page. You need to sign in with your normal school at alnsconnected.com email address and your normal school password. So in my case I'm going to use our student test account and hope I can remember the password. Here we go. Then once you're in, this is the main page of Google Classroom. Because, as I said, this is just a test account, I've only got one class there. Normally a student would have one of these for every single lesson and subject they're in. If you're not sure what lessons you've got that day, uh, what you can do is you can actually see your timetable online. The easiest way is to go to the top right of here to the little dots icon, click on it and from the list choose calendar. That will then take you to your school calendar. Again because this is just a test account I've actually only got one day's worth of lessons in. Normally a student would see lessons for every single day and going forward the next couple of weeks as well. But using this, I can see what lessons I've got today, and I know what's coming up next. So I can tell that soon I've got uh, Science, which is my 10VT2 class. So now I know that, I can just close that and go back to Classroom. I can then find the lesson, in this case it's obvious for me, 10VT2. If I click on that, that then takes me to the class. The main page is called the stream. This is basically the same as a Facebook feed or something like, or Instagram feed, something like that. Everything just goes in order. So you can see Mr. Doherty's posted quite a bit of work on here, including the most recent ones. Teachers will be labeling work with the day and date that it's for as well to make it simpler to find it as well. So in this case, we can see Mr. Doherty's posted some work here for the 5th of January, which is the sake of argument today as well as got something ready for next Thursday's lesson. You can see as well he's also posted some bits for one is the main lesson there for 5th of January but he's also got one for if you can't join the live lesson. So if you're going to watch the live lesson what we do is we just click on that assignment and it'll have there a link to join the meeting. So all you do is at the start of the lesson time you just click on that link it'll take you into Zoom and just make sure you put your your proper full name in into Zoom and then you're in. I'm going to go back to the main page. This one says if I can't join the live lesson, so if I, ha if I can't get hold of the computer at that time, if uh, siblings or parents are using the laptop or something, there is another option. In this case, what Mr. Doherty has done, he says here, watch this and do the work as asked. So I can click on that or just click on that there and that will take me to the beauty video that Mr. Doherty's pre-recorded so I can then watch the lesson and still take part. And that's it for that one, so that's how to find work and see your timetable.